Hey guys, it's Alex and Graham here with another Spiritual Discipline video for the month of December. And we are going to talk about the idea of stewardship or being a steward. Now I want you to think real quick, what is a steward? We don't really have stewards in our culture too much, but when there's a master, a chief, a king, or a ruler, somebody who has authority and they're absent for whatever reason or they're taken out of a situation, they will appoint what we call a steward. And it's that steward's job to take care of the master's business while the master's gone. The, the things do not belong to the steward. It is not his or hers to keep, but his or hers to watch over. And so when we think about our lives and specifically what God has given us in our, our time and our finances, uh, we are really stewards of what God has given us. We don't own this and a steward, the, what's most important in their mind is what the master wants. They want the master to return and the master says, wow, you've done a great job. You've been faithful. But the challenge is sometimes as stewards, we can think that we own what we have. Yeah, so if we're serving God, this is an act of worship. And this is why giving is an act of worship as well. Uh, Luke 16 verse 10 reads, one who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much. And one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. If then you have not been faithful in the unrighteous wealth, who will entrust you the true riches? And if you have not been faithful in that which is another's, who will give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either, either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. So who is your master? <laughs>